Okay, an ion of charge An ion of charge 1.8 times 10 to the minus 18 coulombs and mass 3.4 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms enters a B field at the point at the point uh, let's say. One five meters with a velocity of an ion of charge one point eight. So I've given you the charge, I've given you, given you its mass. And I'm telling you what its velocity is and where it enters that B field, OK? And I'm going to tell you what the B field is equal to, where the B field is equal to um, The B field is equal to 5 i hat minus 2 j hat times 10 to the minus 2 teslas. So I want to know from this, um, I want to know the radius of the orbit. Um, OK, let's start out with the force. What is the force on this ion? B, what is the radius of orbit? This is like the helical path that I was uh, showing you, right? There's going to be a force on it. What is the radius of its orbit going to be? And where is the, where is the center of this helical path going to be? in a certain amount of time. So where is the center of its helical path in four milliseconds? OK. So let's draw a little picture of what's happening here. The particle is entering at 1, 5. The particle is going negative 2 plus 3, so something like this. OK, so the particle is moving that way. And the B field is uh, 5 minus 2. The B field is that way. So all of, you know, I'm assuming here all of this space is filled with this B field. And then the particle appears here, and uh, what, what's going to happen to it? Okay. Now based on what we discussed last time, uh, the parallel component of the V doesn't feel the effect of the B at all, right? So that part just keeps going. And then the perpendicular component experiences a force that causes it to go in a circle, right? So which direction is that going to be? Um, v is up. V crossed into B is down. But the charge is, uh, is it positive or negative? Well, the charge is positive, so you keep it that way. So it's going to be this way, this way. It's inside. So 
it's going to go like this. It's going to go inside, out, and then out, inside, out, inside, out. So, and it's going to travel along this path. Like that. It's a good picture, huh? OK. So uh, what is the force on this? We have to take the, the cross product, right? The charge uh, QV crossed into B. So the charge is given 1.8 times 10 to the minus 18. And then the cross product uh, I, J, K. The components of the velocity vector, which is negative 2, 3. And then the power of the velocity vector is 10 to the fourth. So that one comes out. And then the components of the B field and then the power of the B field comes out as well. And uh, that's about it. So now we take the cross product of that. Well, the IJ is cancels out, right? The force is only in the K direction. So that one's going to end up being one point eight times ten to the um, minus twenty plus four. And then you're going to have 4 minus uh, 15, right? And then it's going to be k hat. So 11, negative 11, 11 times 1.8. Okay, so you can do that. What's 11 times 1.8? And then uh, take that, and then that's going to be Newton's. One ninety eight, right? So one ninety eight. Times ten to the that's gonna be uh negative, right? Which it means it's into the board, right. So that is that it? OK, now the force is always going to have this magnitude, but not necessarily the same direction. Because as the particle is winding, right, like this, the force is always going to be changing direction, but the magnitude will always stay the same. OK? So that's the answer to the first one. Part B, what is the radius of the orbit? OK, last time we derived the equation for that. R equals mv over qb, uh, sine of uh, theta, right? So uh, in other words, v sine of theta is only the perpendicular component of the v, right? The parallel component is not affected at all. So the, you put the mass here, uh, 3.4 times 10 to minus 27. The charge is uh, 1.8 times 10 to the minus uh, 18, right? Um, B, OK, here we're going to have to put the magnitude of the B, right? So square root of 25 plus 4. Right? Uh, the bx squared plus by squared. So to 5 squared plus 2 squared, that's uh, square root of 29. And the power is 10 to the minus 2. And then over here, I haven't done this yet, v sine theta. 
Now the V is the magnitude of the V. Uh, 